be the better player in my day. Yeah, no issue. I did ask the weather, Richard. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. Um, something that um, has been mentioned already about inequality in society. But, um, some years ago, I remember I was looking, desperately looking for part-time work because um, what I was doing had been restructured. And all my friends and the people around me, I, the people I, a lot of people in work that I knew, were full-time working 70 hours a week or rather 50 to 70 long hours, very little social life and um, very poor quality of life. So um, I had the idea, why can't the work that needs to be done for society be spread around? Why have to, do we have to have so many millions of people unemployed on benefits that could be doing something? And the people that are working through the night or um, as one guy actually collapsed in a shower, an intern, and died because he hadn't had enough rest. It seemed ridiculous and crazy. And um, when I looked into this, I found out that I wasn't mad and the idea wasn't original. And um, Kate Pickett and Dave and um, Richard Wilkinson um, have written a book called Spirit Level that some of you may be familiar with and they have spent a lot of many years collecting data on the inequality of society and as it happens March um, this week two months of three two or three months ago this March was actually five years that of the Spirit Level book um, originally written in 2009 and um, you can go and have a look um, online and see um, some of the things that their comments they have made. But um, people, uh, um, I have a quote, Barack Obama sort of says, inequality is the defining challenge of our times. And Pope Francis states, inequality is the root of social, all social, no, sorry, social ills. So, I haven't got time to cover all the points, obviously, in five minutes. So um, I just wanted to say that I think it's really sad that we have such deep inequality in our society. And, um, um, so, and um, uh, oh, oh God, it's some years ago, the um, UK was actually um, was fourth in the list, and um, 2009 um, we were fourth in the most unequal society. Amer um, two years ago, America is now the most unequal society, and um, what this creates is lots of social problems like mental health illness, um, um, sorry, um, abuse, um, um, alcoholism. And a lot of and poverty, obviously, that go go along with that. Um, and there are some. The good news is there are some objectives, some um, community strategies. And um, there, it's the centre for local economic strategies working with the in Preston, and the city council are using. Um, the money to work with the um, um, public, commercial, and so social sectors, collaboratory. Sorry, collaboratory. <laughs> collaboratory. <laughs> anyway, to make a real difference in people's lives. Um, there's also some cooperatives started up in Spain and California. So there is. It's a very small and back pocket, but there is some. Sort of movement for change. The, the last thing, um, I, I'm running out of time, so I just wanted to say that the other branch um, um, that I would like to mention is Joseph Stieglitz, who was once an economist with the World Bank. He states that um, research shows that 70% of tax on
and the rich would greatly enrich society and enhance capitalism. Right? The government can spend this money on infrastructure to give free education to university students, which is an investment in our country's future, and fund scientific research that private companies cannot afford to do because it will seriously lower their share price for too many years. This investment will greatly enrich our society. This public spending will increase the amount of people in the middle class, increase wages, and because private business would, would prosper, this would create increased wages and more sales of businesses, which would mean more jobs. A virtuous circle encouraging growth that would create a new tier of rich people and with private businesses and a stronger, healthier market that would also come down to the lower, lower poor people and they would prosper as well. Thank you for your time.